Hi guys, welcome to a new video. I would like to show you this time uh, our new FM cross modulation feature we introduced in the newest update. This update is for free, you can download it in your Avenger account. And uh, what does cross modulation FM mean? This means you now can modulate your oscillator, you can now frequency modulate your oscillator with another oscillator. So let's open a second oscillator here. Let's deactivate reverb. Uh, select the sine wave for oscillator one. And now you have to select as FM source uh, the oscillator two here. What you now can see is that uh, the oscillator two is connected with oscillator one and it no longer produces any sound. Uh, the routing is disabled, uh, it now works fully just as a modulator source, but the rest of the of the oscillator is working as before. You can do anything here what you did before and this will affect the sound of the F of the FM. So now you have what you have to do is um, increase the amount of the FM. Let's select uh, sine wave 2. So at the moment this sounds exactly the same as if you have selected a sine wave here. Please be aware the rate has no longer any influence about uh, over the F over the FM sound. Um, it only affects the AM. And the rate is now controlled by the transposing of oscillator 2. This, mean, this means you now can select negative values too. This wasn't possible before. Or you can modulate it or do whatever you like. You can also fine tune and even add amount or uh, amount of vibrato. So, but what's the special thing about this is you can select any shape you have here. And bend the shape, for example. And even modulate this shape with FM and the third oscillator, but I will show this later. Uh, and what is also special about this, you can now use wavetables, which are moving. For example, let's choose here uh, sine wave. And now you can see FM modulator OSC2 is moving. You also can see this, I, I think this is quite nice, in the waveform itself on the selector. And this opens so many possibilities. You can disable this and move manually. And what you also can have is samples. For example, uh, choose this one. And now you can see it's a sample. Already a nice drone sound. this can be any sample you can cycle through them and the more complex the sample is the more noisy it will get and let's try out a piano What you of course can also do is, and what you should do is modulate the amount with uh, mod envelope for example. 
Let's try even a granular sample as possible. <coughs> Let's try out a drum beat. Let's disable the effects again. Or what also possible is speech, vocals. And again here, you have so much possibilities because every sample sounds different. But you also can try, sometimes it works, you can add a sub oscillator inverted so you can kill the basic sine wave this requires that you use fixed starting value okay what else can we do we can um, even go further, let's initialize the preset, and um, for example choose organ-like sound, and now we can add a shape, voice for example, so, and let's cross-modulate it. So now you can, as you know, do everything with this ask, including FFT movements. Performance will work. The pitches. By the way, the level is add it to the amount so you can have even if you have the maximum here if you boost oscillator 2 the amount even gets higher so you are really not limited here anymore with the 100 percent What's also possible is, let us choose a not so complex wave. This sine wave could also be modulated by another OSC. Now we have oscillator 1 is modulated by oscillator 2, which is modulated by oscillator 3. Let's choose here sine wave 2. Sine waves will work best because um, source or squares really get uh, very noisy and harsh very quickly so as you can hear this osc is modulated by this very high fm osc and this let's choose here sine wave 2 Sine wave. Even this could be modulated by even more oscillators, but you will come to the point when it makes no sense anymore. Okay, so I hope you can imagine, by the way, we could also, uh, if we kill this 
connection, you could also select directly OSC3. As you can see here, this would be silent. You can go directly into any oscillator. It's not bound to the neighboring uh, oscillator, you can choose any connection. So as you can see, um, this is uh, uh, really complex and um, the possibilities are mind-blowing because you have all of those thousands of shapes here to try out with each other or thousands of samples or the moving wave tables, even vocals or granular sounds uh, will work. And yes, yeah, so I hope uh, you will enjoy this free update and uh, yeah, looking forward to your new sounds you build with these new possibilities. Thank you for watching. Bye.